<laughs> Welcome, everyone. It's Thursday, Open House Thursday on Your View, where we get to gist, gist, gist. I am Tokwe Mark Odige, and I'm your host for today. And as usual, we're not doing this alone. I have the ladies with me, especially. <laughs> Please, now, nah, let me shout out to my guest co-host for today. Yeah. We have a Praise. guest co-host today. Yeah. This is the first time she's joining us. Yes. Praise Adeyemo. She's an honor personality, popularly known as Soft Landa. Hey! Oh, thank you for having me. I'm following you right after the show. Please, yeah. please, please. Yes. She actually looks it. I so, am. Like, I am very actually. calm, yeah. very collected. See, you know, do I usually go into the makeup room? I breathe deep with my noise, and I, and Prince just was there. Yeah. It's until now I knew she was guest school. So all the rubbish I was saying, she was soft landing. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. soft landing actually. <laughs> exactly. And we also Same have Kike in the studio. Hello. The only Onyibo in our family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm loving my hair. Yes, it's really nice. Yeah, and thanks to Nima and Tokwe, and Praise as well. Like they, they talked me into the hair. Yes, yeah. it's nice. Thank you. Really nice. Um, Nima, how are you doing? How was the journey ah. coming here this morning? Thank God, though. So yesterday, let me just shout out to the people, because I didn't say how many people I called and shouted that. My husband, first of all, my apologies for, for venting. I lost my temper while he was driving i felt he wasn't driving fast enough i'm actually a very fast driver considering that i have to cover a long distance to walk so he was careful and i was just shouting out in the car that you know he was wasting my time so i'm very sorry my darling um the pro for lasma i called him as well and you were shouting too i ranted i felt they weren't doing enough but this morning they actually have done he promised that they were going to go on site yesterday and they did so this morning was easier it was better but the tankers it took over mm. so we just have to deal with the depot and the tankers which is my community exactly so i want to say that um thank you to him and i'm feeling loved miriam thank you mm -hmm. so my smallie miriam went for umrah and mm. i'm wearing all the things jewelry from I got oh from cool well. and then, you, know, you need to be qualifying the miriam because we have a miriam on the show no my smallie you know, the Miriam on the show is not my smiley. Oh, Miriam okay. Ibrahim actually is my mentee. Mm -hmm. And she's now mentoring me. She doesn't even know yet. <laughs> but, you know, um, she's just a lovely girl. Her so I wanted to just throw in something. Nima, because of the haste yesterday, Nima came on the show without makeup. So people, um, Obi Ajuli was like, oh, Nima, you're looking so beautiful without makeup. I said, mm. So I went to watch. And I was like, Nima, you look beautiful without, as in, like, it was really, really <laughs> nice, I must Thank say. You. And as a makeup artist, I don't like it because I want people, I want to remain in business. So I want people to <laughs> love makeup so much that they're not comfortable without makeup. But you looked really good without makeup. Thank you. Ekushe. Ekushe. Anything happening, Kike? Oh, work, work, work. And um, what else can I say that is happening? Aside the fact that God is faithful. Yeah. Business is going well. Thank God. Um, little challenges here and there concerning one of my daughter because she has um, um, sickle cell um, oh traces. Yeah, mm -hmm. So there are times that she has attacks and all of that. But mm, with the help of God and the mm. fact that the father to support financially when the need arises. Mm. And um, what's it called? And we're there, a lot of support system and all of that. Then what else again? I guess... Um, Besides that, everything is going on well. <laughs> this woman, you don't always agree that you're a superwoman. Eco parenting. Are you sure I'm a superwoman? You just dropped another one, I'm thinking. <laughs> like, how does she, she do it? All of this. They, do. Yes. They, they show nothing about how they do it. For me, eh? After the swearing in of the knife assembly, I just told myself that we need to do more. And I am appointing myself as the chairperson of the office of the citizenship <laughs> citizenry to hold the national assembly accountable honestly i've followed them on instagram i mean i follow them on twitter and on facebook i want to know i want to be checking on them i want to dedicate it a uh, particular time five minutes every day to check what they are doing because i think that we don't know how important the national assembly is to everybody in this city in this country so last year last administration they were saying the <coughs> national assembly wasn't helpful but now they have their people there so let all Nigerians go and ensure that you're following what is going on so that you will know when the laws are now being let passed. Let me beg you, for a small focus on the laws because you see there will be public hearing for those laws that are supposed to be. Mm. But all the, those committees things that people are fighting about, the mm. committees, is, that's why we should, we should start following focus, what yes. the committees will be so doing. The, Don't the worry, I have corruption happening my within eyes. committees and... That is and my project, is to look at what they are doing at the National yes, Assembly. So. Moving on, we'll mm -hmm. take... Um, the top stories for today. Stay with us, we'll be right back.
Thanks for staying with us. So we'll be taking the newspaper headlines for today, starting with the punch. Major headline, mixed reactions as Buhari vows to rebuild Nigeria. Rename stadium after MKU. President's policy negates June 12 ideals. That's from Atiku. Um, gov governors hail Buhari for honoring Abiola, urge unity, Obasanjo, Jonathan, go on others absent from democracy day events and then the pictures 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 of all that happened the military parade it was so beautiful other news federal government has weaponized poverty to subjugate nigerians that's from Isaac Quincy. suspected headsman attack travelers in Oshun, kill local government worker headsman beheads wife in Ekiti state um lawan Badabia Mila may name members of committees today APC, PDP governors, NGF, congratulate National Assembly leaders. Um, federal government may lift land border vehicle importation ban. That's from the custom boss. I wish I read that story. That's actually, I wish they don't. Um, military helicopter crashes on Democracy Day in Castina. And DSS stop June 12 rally in Ibado. Arrest three. So we have so many stories, but let's start with the human interest story, the suspected headsman attack. What happened? So, yeah, so um, the gunmen suspected to be Fulani headsmen heads mm -hmm. on Wednesday attacked travelers on Ibado Expressway, mm -hmm. and there was a gunshot at uh, one of the West local governments. Ibado Expressway? Yeah, Ife, Ibado, Ife, Ibado. Uh, Ife, Ibado Expressway Ife. at Ike, Ife. 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 Okay, if Ife. Ife. Yes. Ife. Mm. about the expressway yeah. and um and the uh, the person that that was shot was one of the west local government area of osho state uh, sam samson adeni Pekun. okay yeah and we're told that the disease was traveling to ibado to uh, to your state in an unregistered toyota corolla and that these people attacked him there was an ismaila olayu wale mm. that attacked him during the incident and uh, we're told that um, some of the commissioner for for police from that state as a um, um, what's it called as they've, they've um, arrested some suspects mm. and they're in custody right now even though they've not been able to gather all the necessary information we also yes. heard that well there, there was somebody that was also killed in uh, Ekiti state mm. um, consigning um headsmen mm. in Ekiti state and the police uh, the commissioner for police in Ekiti state has vowed to put all the necessary tools to make sure that these people are being arrested and uh, the justice will we get them, mm. yeah, basically. Really sad. Yeah. Um, sad. Moving on to the nation, major headline. Yeah, I want to stick your basic question. Please, oh yeah, go ahead. So the, the former minister for education at the, at the pro-democracy event for June 12 yesterday called on Nigerians to take the bull by the on, saying that we have 93 million poor Nigerians living on the poverty line and that the government deliberately won it that way, They're taking advantage of it, that if poverty was the slogan with which the M uh, MKO campaign was led, mm. uh, head to poverty was the slogan with which mm. the campaign was led. At that time, and it wasn't this bad, but it would have been more difficult to even combat poverty then because of, you know, because of the backwardness at the time. But now with, in the 21st century, with all the education and technology that we have, our government deliberately leaves the status quo. She, said they, weapon, she said they weaponized nice. poverty. Exactly. Because if you're poor, you can't speak, speak up for up. your rights. Exactly. And that it is a deliberate But then again, she talked about Nigerians loving, leaving things the way they are. So those 93 million people either do not have voters' cards, are not involved in the electoral process, they're not interested in changing the narrative. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those of them who even do have, do not understand it. So they still vote buying and a lot of other things that she addressed mm. at the... Really sad. Moving on to the nation, major headline, King Gibe. Obasanjo knew about June 12 annulment. Ex-president won't comment on former <coughs> SGF's allocation, an allegation, rather. Um, other news, Balogun defies Olubadon's order on Egugu Festival. Tinubu hails Fawa Imi Beko on Democracy Day. Um, Nigeria Super Falcon beats Korea 2-0. <laughs> And the last story will be taken, Danish husband's DNA found on murdered wife and daughter's clothing. So um, uh, we want to shout out to our, our own our super, falcons. Own super yeah. falcons. Exactly. Girls were proud of you. Proud you of did me. a good job. Well, you know Nigerians. Were it was a good people. way to crown that a small fantastic day back yesterday. That we started with that match with the uh, Norway, what do they call, call Norway people? Norway, no, Norwegians? No, Norway, Norwegians. 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 So... Nigerians went at them, 
Some described the hair uh, wigs that some of them were wearing. Some described their nails. They're spending so much time doing hair. They are not focusing on the match. Mm -hmm. But these are our team, and they are doing amazingly around the world. In fact, in Nigeria, we have the best female footballer. Mm -hmm. from Nigeria and yeah, so she was on that team so far, uh, and then you know Nigerians we don't know how to encourage our own so but the girls went back and they did not listen to us to the okay. team around Super Falcons yes, um, NFF <coughs> you know minister, a new minister for sports you know what mm. to do let them get their dues minister? we will soon have we will, still, we will have our dues they should pay their dues on time because these are the issues they have but thank you for doing a good job yesterday okay so I have the story on Balogun and the issue around Ulubato. Mm. And I had to read it. So apparently, the masquerade, Egugun, that's supposed to like dance around, it's a cultural festival within the Ibado people, mm -hmm. would go to the Oba's place, Olubado first, mm -hmm. then to and all the, around the chiefs', around the chiefs um, households, and mm -hmm. that's the culture, then go to the governor's house. But the Olubado made a statement that the Egugun is not going to dance around this time. The Egugun will dance for Olubado and the governor alone. Hence, the Balogun defying this. You know, we've, they've been having crisis within Ibado for a while since mm -hmm. they upgraded those um, Oba. chiefs Chief. into yeah, being Obas. Mm -hmm. There's been a, a part tussle. So Balogun is saying that you cannot, for personal reasons, tamper with the culture of, of the Ibado people. The Egugu is supposed to dance around, whether you like it or not. So that's the uh, Balogun defying Olubado. I, I, I know that the, Oba, um, the, Oba, the governor is going to receive this Egugu. Before this happens, can it mediate what is going on? Because I, you, being the leader right now, it can mediate. The new governor. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he goes about it. Because mm. some people have put, um, yes. criticized that move to upgrade the um, chiefs mm. to Oba. But I have the story of the <coughs> Danish um, man who murdered his wife, Nigerian wife and daughter in Ikoi at the time. So while the <laughs> hearing, presently they're trying him, he's under trial now for murder. The forensic experts who came to report mm. on the, on the um, what's it called, done on the body, yeah. uh, the process. The uh, forensic, the DNA. The DNA. Yes. That they picked, they said the DNA matches that of the accused. Mm. Unfortunately, five people were in the house. Two stepsisters of the murdered wife, the wife, her daughter, and the two of them who were murdered on their fa the fabrics on their clothes and everything. The DNA carried that, the DNA. That of the mother, uh, the accused matches um, the murdered. So I don't know how he's going to get out of it, but he pleaded not guilty, and I'm hoping that you know that he gets out of it if he's truly innocent. But if he is, not because he's foreign, they should please um, ensure that justice is done. All right, moving on to The Guardian. Major headline, go on. Obasanjo ex-leaders absent from June 12th celebration. I have that one. <laughs> Cult clash mob attack claimed seven persons in Bayelsa. What I regret about June 12th struggle by Agbakoba. DSS Army, um, NS, NSCDC, arrest activ activist, stop June 12th rally in Ibado. Poor implementation, corruption allegations, um, Politicization, dog, federal government, social safety net scheme. So I know that praise you have one of the stories here. Yeah. So actually, um, it's more about June 12. You know, mm. yesterday was June 12, and everything revolved around the inauguration speech and all. And mm. what what I actually found striking there was the fact that none of the past presidents were present mm. at that meeting. I mean, at, at the at the speech, and I was wondering that like, is are they trying to send a message? to this incumbent um, president that, okay, we're not in support of you being here or what exactly is the message that you're trying to pass across? Because I feel like something is not right somewhere where not even one, okay. it's not the case that they are not <coughs> alive, they are, but not one was present at that speech. And I'm, I was, I'm just yeah, wondering. I was wondering. I was wondering. To, to what she has said. Yeah. I think what the past governors or the past presidents yeah. rather, yeah. they are of the opinion that um, the June 12 was overflogged that because they at uh, the May 29 that it has been celebrated already and all of that that was mm. the essence of June 12 is another thing that a bill has been passed that that will be the democratic yeah, but, they, yeah, 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 you I, I think that, no. but the fact that uh, yeah, aside right. as Sean, I think that they are very aware yeah. that the national yeah. assembly made this a public yes. 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 yes yes and that is their it, names it was the first commemoration exactly. out. so i was just wondering whether they didn't properly get their invites oh, oh. their names oh, were oh, in the no, they, they cannot claim no, ignorance no, no, no. In yes. this one. so you know, let them speak up Mm -hmm. Right. I'd like to we would assume them. that yeah. they don't agree, know, with um, the, they yes. agree with the June 12th. They don't agree with the MKO struggle. They don't agree with the entire Definitely. country. The vice presidential candidate in the June 12 elections, King Uwe, said that um, President, former President Olusha Gwaba Sanjo knew about the annulment and he took steps to ensure that you know that <coughs> the, the annulment was maintained.
mm. and that President Buhari had attended that that particular meeting only once the inaugural one and never came back because he disagreed on that. He felt it was an injustice. And that's in the nation. I think people should catch it up. When you now do your addition and subtraction, you will know why they are not there. And another that's thing is, I think take. the reason. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So we're asking, is it really true that 60% of married women do not love their husbands and they're just happy to be married? They just want a title, especially because some of them got married late. Some of them got married because they want the title and they are concerned about what people will say. This is a bit dicey and we would like to hear your thoughts on it. You can join the conversation by calling us on 070 8066-8014, or you can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can hear from you. Especially want to hear calls from married women. This was irritating. As even like 60%, then somebody in the studio said 80% of women are actually married without one. being in love with their husbands. Mm. But I don't, I'll let you, I want to put you on the spot. And I know because you're single, um, you're a bit on that neutral space of, I want to marry for love. Based on what you've observed, based on your experience with married people, do you agree with this data that 60% of women are not ha in love with their husband? They just like the title, married woman. Okay, honestly, yes, I would. And the reason is, I think that it's a, it's a cultural value transference kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, here's why. I Back in the day, most of our mothers really, they never really loved their husbands, quote and unquote, because it's a thing of, oh, you're, you're old enough to get married, so they just send you off to this person, or there's this, um, what they call, arranged marriage kind of thing. So don't worry, you grow in love, you get to love him in the marriage, not you falling in love with that person and getting married. And then they tell their children to while growing up that, see, love, love is not necessary at this beginning. As long as the guy can pay your bills, meet your needs and everything, you know, he would take care of everything, and then you get to love him in the process. But these days, I think that's not how it works anymore because people are more exposed, especially ladies, or should I say women, they are more exposed. People will now think about themselves more. There's the, you know, the notion of independence, the thank thankfully um, westernization is there. So everybody wants, I want to do this for me, not because of you or because of the other person. Or so I would agree with that statistic. However, because of the generation gap and the division going on as it were. I think women are now more woke and they are not doing the, um, the, the us they love the husband more or oh, title, no. Marrying so, for title. Yeah, they're not marrying for title anymore. Actually, that's why we have a lot of single mothers because it's not about the title. So it's about what, what are you bringing to the table? What am I bringing to the table? You guys are so ready to jump on this. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, I want, I want <laughs> new ones to die. Yeah, it's it's now. All right, <laughs> okay. Um, thank you for your opinion. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, it, it's peculiar to individuals, and I, I like what you said, Doctor, when you said because she's not married. Because if she wants to get married now, what is paramount to her is love. But if you ask Kike Lomo today, what is paramount to me is security in marriage. Mm. Do you understand? Because you realize that most people today, do you understand? The, the, the society places pressure on both men and women when you've come of age. Mm. If, whether you're, yeah, there's preparedness in in you or not, do you understand, Operation. in terms of uh, financial, psychologically, mentally, and all of that. So you realize that if either your parent or your family people say no because you're a graduate, you're this, you're that, mm. you should settle down now. Mm. However, when, you, when it comes to love, hmm, I think, Tupper, to be very honest, the women of today, I don't think that, it might be wrong of me to say that or most women of today, I don't think um, they recognize the word love but I don't think that it's paramount to them because what is love to most women today is the financial angle, is money. So Ali, will you find, um, uh, again, uh, that's my own perspective, do you mm. understand? Ali, will you find most women today who wants to say, oh, I'm marrying for love, I'm marrying for this. For someone like me, who I will tell you that at the beginning of my first marriage, I married based on peer pressure. 
because mm. most of my friends, they understand, were already, were already yeah. married, they understand. So it was like, oh, sometimes when we're having discussions, oh, you, you're not yet a woman, they understand. Oh. Uh, you, you're not yet this, you're not yet that. So when the man came along, they understand, you it was more like it. the conversation just led to marriage, you understand. Mm. So there's a lot of pressure being placed on us. But as of today, if you ask me with all of the experiences I've gathered today, mm -hmm. if you ask me what do I want, it's about security in that marriage. It's not Wouldn't about love, love make anymore. you feel secure? Ah, my dear sister love has not made me feel secure where where i where i've got into today mm. do you understand because many a time you realize that your own definition of love is different from the exactly. definition of the love of your partner okay so so, so that is the point so the, yeah. the, the the love language thing comes to play because you said yeah. that um most women would want would see love as being able to take care of them financially for some other people some psychologists will say that that person if you that means your love language is gifts yeah. You know, so if your love language is gift, it means the more gifts you buy for me, the more I'll feel in love with you. Maybe, uh, is, it that we, is, is, is it that we're confusing that with the fact that there's no love, we're just focusing on money? Love is very subjective. And so you can't <coughs> necessarily say, it's a very subjective term. What I call love, just like you said, language and all that mm. is different from what someone else would consider love. And women define it along their fears. So yeah. security for Kike, the, you know, partnership, companionship for some. Some will say, okay, you have all the money in the world, I just need you here. Different reasons. Mm. For someone to now sit down and say, based on one statistic, that a woman is, 60% uh, uh, of us are not in love with our husband, married women, so, so to say. I think... You're it, questioning it, that statistic, uh, yes, that data. I, 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 question I think it. we should question what this, the love is. What is no, the no, love? No. What was yeah. the love they were looking for? The let love me, in let context. Me land the, the context let of me that land love. The point mm. because Yes, a person can be the giz giz love, fall in love before the marriage, but it takes more to sustain shaku shaku that marriage. So once your insecurities start to come, maybe you know whatever you fa you're faced with in that marriage, if you don't have the strength to continue to forgive, if you remain in that marriage, it means that you're just you know you're just pushing through. And a lot of us are fighters. We remain, we walk it through. And there's the opportunity of falling back in love with that partner. So you, when you put it in context like that, women are just remaining married. They are not necessarily uh, ma uh, in love. You, you can't generalize that. You, it's, I, I think it's, you should take it in phases. So maybe in a, at a particular point, phase in that marriage, mm. you're not in love. But you know it is not worth so working it, out See of. this love. No. You see, we, we can't generalize what love means. That's yeah. the challenge. The challenge is that for me, I would <laughs> define love as... Um, in, in the beginning of marriage, as that warm feeling, I want to always be with this person. Yeah. I'm dreaming of this person. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of this person. I have a good news. The first person I want to call is this yeah. person. I have a challenge. The first person I want to call is this yeah. person. So that, for, that, is, that is what I define as love. So maybe a lot of things will contribute to what gets that feeling. Mm -hmm. So if we define love in this context, how many married women would think of their husband so first for every you. news they have? Let me I'll let you, you get to that scenario. story after this break. We'll take okay. a quick break now. When we return, we'll continue on this conversation. And like I said, I'm waiting for the women to call in. Married women, tell us, are you in love with your husband? <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. You can't really put this generalization on the ground and you walk everywhere. This couple, for instance, now, that they have a lovely family, everything working for them, but it's a journey. She's no longer in that, she's not getting she's the response she expects. Be, if, if someone were to ask her, because I have been, I've seen her in her weakest, mm. she's saying, I regret this, I regret this decision oh. and everything, she's bitter, I've seen her. And I wonder that these people, were you people not in love? I wasn't even there when you people married. So it's not necessarily that, that you're not that in love. Yeah. The that love changes for, for over women. time. And it doesn't mean the man doesn't love, love her. He just doesn't understand that to how to respond to that language he's demanding. He's mm. still not there. He's hustling. He Nima. thinks, all I, I can't fit is provision. I must mm. provide. Nima, so, Nima, the reason why we're having challenges today or why we have looming challenges in marriages today is because of what you just said. Uh, most men believe that once I'm paying so, so, so things, I'm taking care of bills and all of that. But the, the men should understand that. How did you woo the woman in the mm -hmm. first place? And yes. how you must be, yes. you must constantly water that love, so to speak, nurture okay, it. Yes. However, she was wooed with money. Oh. Because some men just know how to buy you <laughs> gifts while they're wooing you. Okay, so, the, so what, what do you think that some, um, and, I, and I want you to answer this, being that you're still single, that is it that a lot of women <laughs> go into relationships 
um, getting A, then in the relationship expects to get A, B, C, D, E. Exactly. It's possible. It's possible. A lot of ladies have that mentality that, okay, you know, he's doing all this for me. You're, you're starting to like that person. And then when you now get into the relationship and reality sets in, or maybe mm -hmm. you're eventually married to the person, you begin to have certain expectations. I feel where the issue is is the fact that people do not really communicate. Yeah. They should talk, and there should be a mutual understanding amongst the both of them because <coughs> when pressures of life come, you would, you would be surprised that people would change. You, you yourself might change. People don't know themselves. A lot of people that get married don't know, they don't even know what they Story want. Of my life. Which is why they yeah. should talk, they should communicate. Okay, I, Prince, this is I, how I, it works. This is how it works. Communication is good. Yeah. If the other party, most African men do not ha have time mm. to mm. sit down with you and be doing that. It's not just on having the issue. time. The question is, most yeah, times they talking. don't even have the foundation of that love. Were they brought up in that environment of love? Mm. Did they understand the definition of love? However, when you now enter marriage, do you understand? Mm -hmm. The reason why we're having challenges today, just like you've said, is that there is no communication. Aside communication, there must, con there must be constant... He can, uh, he can, a lot of women look at the other uh, place and think the grass is greener. Yeah, okay. true. Stop comparing your marriage. Mm. Work with what you have. Mm. I didn't know my husband before I married him. Mm -hmm. And I'm perfectly in love 10 years down the line. Mm. We grew on each other. And the love evolved, evolved. over time. And the, uh, in fact, this morning I still fell in love because <laughs> <we> keep, <laughs> okay, it so, keeps going. So the, the data is that 60% of married women and are blind. doing this for the title. Mm. We cannot disregard the fact that some people actually just got married for the title, True. based on pressure, based, based people, on the fact that yeah. most people I should have companion. children. Yeah. I should have, I, I, it, it, it's unfair, it, I'm, I'm in my 30s, if I don't start, if I don't get married yeah. now, I won't have children. I so what am I looking for? Let me just get married and find, start get, giving birth to kids. There's nothing wrong so is there that. any, should we, is it, is it not appropriate for us to acknowledge that part, instead of us thinking that everybody is in love and are married because they actually love each other? Most people, I, well, it's and a, some people will tell you. Start. It's a good place to start. So when you start from there, you're careful in, this, in the decision. And some of will tell you, and I want to get your opinion on this. Some will tell you that when you marry for love, you are blind. But when you marry with reality of this is a partnership, this is yeah. a marriage, it tends to work better because you're not expecting so much from that relationship. Stop it. I'm for love. I've said this back to back. There is no how I will marry a guy or even date you if I don't love you, if there is no connection between the both of us. However, it's another thing for you to enter the marriage, understanding that there's no perfection between both of you. Mm. There would definitely be lapses. Yeah. But, you know, I, I admire when Nima is talking now that I fall in love with my husband back to back and all of that. That's mm. a good thing. That is what I believe that most women, because I don't want to put an affirmative statement here, yeah. most women will wonder. Because there is a place where there is, the man is loving you, he respects you, he honors you, he places you first above every other thing. There's no violence in the marriage. Do you understand what I'm mm. trying to say? There's no how you will not want to love the man back to back. Even no. if there are some shortcomings in the man, as, as well as the woman herself, do you mm. understand? You want to ignore and continue. But in a place where the man doesn't even understand the definition of love, number one, the man doesn't even love himself, too. The man doesn't respect himself. Because when you respect yourself, there are some certain things that you would naturally give into the union. Good. Let's True take that. this call quickly. Go Tell me that you're the way from Ikorodu. Welcome to the show. Good morning. I'm very grateful that I'm able to get the touch with you. Oh, we're happy to <laughs> have you. Well, God bless you. I'm happy to have you uh, taking the job this long this morning. Uh, okay. I know that uh, what you feel is that you are a fellow believer. The Bible says you want to love the and let the woman be with their husband. But it is when you want to let them be with them that Many women just have to have the right to be in regard to marriage. Marriage is very complicated. It's not to, it's not to have the title as a married woman. <laughs> I can't hear you clearly. I'm so sorry, Temidayo. I know you were quoting the Bible that um, the Bible says that men should love and women should respect and that women are not loving. I'm not sure if that's the entirety of your message, but um, I feel that we are all in agreement to the fact that. Um, it is important for communication to happen in marriage. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And what love means will change over the period of marriage. Sure. Mm -hmm. So maybe in the beginning, he's very attentive. Yeah. After you've had kids, his focus of love most of the time is that I should be able to provide for my family. Mm -hmm. And as long as we're able to communicate these different faces, we'll keep on falling in touch with each other mm -hmm. again. I so think we have another phone call. Do we have another phone call? Comfort, welcome to the show. Good morning from Magodo. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you married? Yes, I'm married. I've been married for 13 years. Wow. 13, wow. wow. Yes, and I love my husband. My husband loves me too. 
Hello, are you with me? Yes, yes I'm with you. Go ahead. Okay. I love my husband so much. He respects me and I respect him. Mm. You know, he saw that he's a man of honor, a man of integrity. He lives by his word. Mm. I, I try as much as possible, just like what you said, to ignore some of the shortcomings because he's a human being. Yeah. He's not 100%. So he too he ignores my, my, my shortcomings and he honors me. <laughs> so... Like the statistics of what they said that maybe sixty percent of uh, Madeline did not love their husband. Most of my friends around me they love their husband. Mm. And I I too I love my husband and I honor him and I re and, I, and I give him high I hold him in high esteem. So thank you, comfort. Thank you so much. I'm happy because I know most people don't share stories when they are happily in love with their mm -hmm. husband. So I'm happy you shared this, so, that those so, around you are also exactly. in that space. So, so it's not all gloom and doom. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wanted to add to what you said earlier about communication that even when it is missing, mm -hmm. learn to be mature and make the right excuses. So you see someone toiling every day, coming back late, and actually you know what your challenges are in your you. you know your needs yeah. that you know you have, you have yeah. to meet. You should be able to admit your inability to meet those needs and know when someone else is doing everything to meet them mm. acknowledge him yeah. you know love him <laughs> and stop him. looking out of your d d the door and say okay my husband my neighbor and her husband are yeah. necking outside they're hugging <laughs> i doesn't hug you know what works for you exactly you know what works for your partner women we live in this world where we continue to compare and i'm a muslim professor Sam said Look at those that you're better than. It will help you to be grateful. Grateful. All the time. Very, very important. I, I think that, that, that uh, we, we, we could end on that. We could end this topic on that. No, there are many other topics mm -hmm. that we're going to discuss. We'll go on a quick break. When we return, <coughs> stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. Still keeping in line with this marriage issue. Marriage, you know, is a secret thing. And obviously, we do a lot as married people to make it work. What length would you go? What sacrifices would you make as yourself and even your partner to save your marriage? I've heard some people say that um, they're willing to change jobs, resign from work, relocate from their country, relocate to other states just to make their marriage work. Um, so I want to invite our callers once again to join the conversation by calling us on 070-8066-8014. I know I'm talking fast, but the numbers will be there, so you can say, you can call us and join the conversation. Um, I'm putting praise on the spot here. The only single person here, so... <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just let me start with you. Yeah. Um, if for any reason you're, someone you're dating now tells you, I, I, I just got... I'm, I want us to get married, and I'm relocating to a quai bomb. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> no. What will be your first reaction? Okay. Um, I wouldn't say, maybe I'm engaged to the person. We're about to get married, and it says he's relocating to a quai bomb. I would think to myself that, okay, we're about to start a family. Obviously, we would have had that conversation. So what are the opportunities in a quai bomb? Let's look. Because I would assume that you must have thought about me and what I want and what is best for me to say, okay, okay, there are alternatives here. If you're going to make a sacrifice on this, it means that there's an alternative somewhere. But if there is nothing, we have to look for a way to meet each other halfway. Because again, money is very important. <coughs> uh, except you're saying that, oh, don't worry, I'm going to foot your bills and, you know, just... Meanwhile, I won't even be a housewife. But he loves you. And I love him too, which and is he's why... he's going to acquire a bomb. If you leave him, he will marry somebody else there then it means he doesn't love me well enough. Because if you really do love me, you would consider me and what I want as well. Hmm. I agree. I yeah. know you've been in this place before. Yeah. Yeah, so just us, what yeah, happened? Yeah, we didn't even have a debate. So I was looking to move out of Lagos. And my husband just agreed that if it works, we're moving together. Mm. So we've never really disagreed on where. What Prince said is most important. So if you're making that decision and you're supposed to be in love and engaged to someone, you know that those are one of the factors you have to consider. You're married. If you're we truly have many cases in love of and marriage with the person, see, it's a decision both of you will make. And this is where the communication thing comes. So you sit, you talk about it, and the person agrees. You both agree that Aquai Bomb is the best place. Some people will say, okay, you go there, I will, I will stay here and do long distance. Some people will say, okay, I can't live without you. I must wake up and see you and follow themselves and go. Hey, you know you're in that place. <laughs> <laughs> I anywhere you go, I follow you. I follow Matthew, you. welcome to the, the show. show. Good morning. 
Oh, Matisse, oh I sorry. think we lost the call. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm in the category of follow, follow. So, so, follow. so yeah. it depends on how you see it. It yeah. really doesn't mean the end of the world. And it doesn't mean that one person is being oppressed how about when to it make leads the to bitterness? It's just how that we about when it leads into quick. bitterness? You know, because it, genuinely in some cases, um, <laughs> and, and on both sides, so you make the sacrifice that I, our family can't move, our kids are in school, but mm -hmm. Oga needs to go. So you stay put, it goes to work in another community, <coughs> in another state, in another country, but you are unhappy being alone, but yet you can't plug the family. It's a sacrifice. A lot of women, are, a lot yes. of, even men are making these sacrifices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, talk about women should be, able, should be willing to sacrifice their job for their marriage. You know, um, most you times... Food, that one. No, yeah. no. I'm, I, on, on this note, I believe strongly because at the end of the day, the woman's priority um, from my own end should be a marriage, should be a family, and work can the come into play. Well. Do you understand? As, the, what? Not the her finances. If the woman is not the breadwinner of the family, mm. do you understand? Mm. And the man is willing to take care of some necessary uh, obligations. Are you really saying this, Kike? Yes, I'm very serious. Because Please just take this caller. No. I, I hold you on <laughs> this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know who is calling from Lauren. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. So, are you married? Uh, I'm married. I'm married, of course. <coughs> uh, I want to come in from the last Go ahead. Uh, yeah, you know, the problem we are, I think the problem has to do with tradition and the religion. Mm -hmm. the tradition and religion both will not allow a man or a, a lady or a guy to get sex well <coughs> before they can get married. Mm -hmm. You have to, like, get married when you are not even ready. Mm, really? Then besides, the woman, you know, you have to contribute. The fact that a woman will not contribute leads to any sex for the men. So, my Women will always come out. Where is their husband? Hmm. So, women live even 40 years after the death of their husband. Hmm. Why, why, why? If there is true love between the husband and the wife, why can't you help each other hmm. and live longer? Together. Why is it that men will go forth and women will remain? Now, listen to the, 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 the fruit of the labor they both work for. The children will live with the woman for a longer period of time. Then the woman will be reaching the. You know, we are going to another topic, but I understand where you're coming from. More supportive women, that's what he's mm. advocating for. Mm. Yeah. But you know, I didn't, I didn't finish my statement before the caller came in. Mm. Uh, when I said women should sacrifice their marriage for. I mean, just sacrifice their love for marriage. This is where I'm coming from. I can remember when I was pregnant with my last two kids. Do you understand? I had to sacrifice my, my work, my career. I was behind closed doors while I was supporting the man. Do you understand? Mm. And the man was carrying on with other responsibilities. However, the reason why you can frown at the statement I made is because for a woman like me, before I go into marriage, I must have at least my own savings. Mm -hmm. There must be a financial... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, um, backup. backup for me, aside the man taking care of some responsibility. Do you understand? Mm. So, for me to be able to say that a woman should put a marriage first, it is because I've been there before. Do you understand? And I had to sacrifice my career and my, um, and, and my company for almost three years. Do you understand? While, you were, while, while I was were. behind clothes, <laughs> while I was giving birth back to back, I was falling ill, a lot of things were ongoing, do you understand? So at the end of the day, there are some women that will frown at that. But the reason why I can do that is because I have my own financial uh, uh, backup. Mm. So, hey, why can't you know, other women... When, yes. when you said the comment that women should be willing, yes. you know, it, it puts a lot of burden on the women's side. Yeah. I, I believe men too. So it depends on Vice what versa. works. Yeah. Well, if both of you sit down, weigh the odds, and maybe one job is more... Or want to support one career, or both of you just wish to have your careers. But our society you frowns on it. But you can find something that works Soci for you. Our society frowns on the situation where, a, a, because a woman's job is more lucrative, yes. you now find the man, or maybe a, a woman's job is being paid, a, a, the wife is being paid a whole lot more. You now see the man relocates, and quitting his job to move in with the man. That man, he'll be, be seen as not being a man. If he was a businessman, Okay, at the time when no, no, well, at, his at, job at, is the example. As a fresh lawyer, I wanted to be a public prosecutor. So I was looking to federal. I wanted that was my strength, public law. I wanted to do public prosecution. So I told my husband this is where I wanted to go. Moving to the north was doing, going to Abuja or everything. 
And we sat down and we weighed it. He said, the kind of job I do, if I push for a transfer to wherever you are, it will work. Mm. Because, I, you know, we, we couples will be able to sit down exactly. and weigh the odds. And match on yes, no. yeah. so I'll come to you. Let me take Edna first. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Edna from Potaka. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Good, morning. Good to Good have morning. you. Yes. I'm the fan of your program. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes. Um, but when we talk about marriage, mm. hello? Yes. yes. Are you yes. hearing me? Yes. 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 When we talk about marriage, marriage is about give and take. Mm -hmm. Marriage mm. is sacrificial. Mm -hmm. Both the man and the woman. Mm. From the onset, there should have been love, there should have been understanding. Mm. And marriage, when we talk about marriage, there should be uh, this understanding that there, is a, there must be adjustment. Mm. There must be adjustment. Yes, Even time. in your uh, uh, activities, your career, mm -hmm. just like what the fair lady just said. Okay. I did it also. Mm -hmm. At the time when I got married to my husband, my husband made me to understand that I am not paying the rent. And we have this, this family is suffering. When I get to work, my boss is there complaining. I came late. Mm -hmm. I decided to sacrifice my job. And I waited till about 10 years after mm -hmm. which well, God seeing the sacrifice mm -hmm. made a way that mm. I got a job mm. that has sustained me till only last year. Yes. I got this. I am 50 years plus. Wow. Oh, wow. And I will tell you that marriage is wonderful. Oh. It it's a beautiful thing. On with your the right determination person. and man's determination. Because there must be adjustment. <coughs> there must be carry along. Mm. There must be patience. There will be understanding. Carry along patience and forgiveness. These are what I believe that is about marriage. Thank you God so me. much. Thank, Thank you, me. Edna. I'm so happy women are calling with good stories about yes. marriage. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I know, Praise, you were going to add something. Yeah, I wanted to say that, again, we should also clarify issues. I feel like a lot of people don't know the reason why they want to get married to start mm. with. You mm -hmm. ask, yes, honestly, yeah. if, you, if, you, if you ask yourself, why do I want to get married? You know that there are things that you might need to do away with. So if your job comes in place, ask yourself again, family values. What kind of family values do you want? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to have together as a couple? If you're able to define most of these things from the beginning, you know whether the person you're with is compatible enough with those values for you to even start a family with or not. Blessing. Well done. You have so much maturity I'm for a single person. Yeah. <laughs> if, the, the, but the truth, if, if and, and that is the core, if every single person before marriage can have this serious Already conversation, be yeah. about it. but the, cha the truth of the matter is, I wasn't in that space. I, I wasn't in that space to have this kind of, to ask values. Give me money. I, I didn't know anything about values. I, I wasn't in the space to ask this question. Stop so for me, it was more it's of... About so when Mo talks about purpose and, 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 it, and we base it on maybe you starting what, a career, career. Mm -hmm. it, it, it worries me because early my purpose was to be whatever I be in life, a wife and a mother. That was, it was a major purpose for me. So early in life, at 16, I started thinking about it. Mm -hmm. What kind of man will be the father of my children? I look at somebody, maybe he's a drunk, eh? You, you're... So that, that was the thing. Already, I didn't even have all these things. You know so I, honestly, I was or, just favored to be married because I didn't know. Qualify, I wasn't thinking of all those things. My husband, on the other hand, had a, an mm -hmm. idea. If he wanted a, a, a woman that, a, a, a lady that had, um, from a nuclear family, mm -hmm. with good parents, right. with parents and good, so he, yeah. that was what he was looking for. So he had a relationship before me who was from a polygamous home and was unstable personally. And so when he saw me, he felt, I've seen the mother, I've seen the father, mm -hmm. I've seen the way they are together. together. Mm -hmm. So yeah. for him, if you are from this kind of family, you Definitely. will be able to raise, so he was thinking like that. I wasn't, and I think that we, we need to encourage our, our single people to think more in that line. Talk about so add to what you've said, right? Thirty your, seconds. Yeah, <laughs> your husband is lucky to have found to have seen all those qualities in you mm. and your parents, and it comes out 
are the same thing yeah. in reality. Oh. Because there are many a time when you see a man or you see a woman, you think that what you're seeing physically, mm -hmm. you understand, True. is the reality until you marry the person, you yeah, realize you that yeah. it's a different it's world. You assume <laughs> that because the person is exposed and educated, the person will have v principles, we have integrity, mm -hmm. we have vision the way you want, the way you believe that you people should have vision. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you realize that the person is an onion. Person is yeah. Yeah. Every layer makes it's you cry. It's even important well, even though, that, you know, family, you mm -hmm. look within the family. family and, 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 and all of that. Mm -hmm. but, but before we run off on the break, I just want to say that I, I think that a lot of women should realize the sacrifices men are making. Mm -hmm. For every man that marries, yeah. he's making sacrifice. Yes. Every money he has is not his money anymore. Mm -hmm. It is for the family. Every time the priority is coming is the children, house rent, all of that. And so we want to, uh, please women, take our time I, today I, and I, applaud I, your husband. I agree with you because many a time, when I tell people that my husband is a, I mean, my ex, because I know that we're separated now, um, we are, what's it called, um, a, is a great provider for his children. Mm. Most women around me frown at it, and they have the opinion that that's his responsibility. No, the person. praise him And for I'm it. saying that, listen, it might be everything, but when it comes to his children, when it comes to being responsible for his children, I think that is one trait that I like about him, and I need to celebrate <laughs> that too. That was the winner. winner. <laughs> yes, that's what makes me love somebody. Yes, yes yeah. we praise yeah. you. We'll yeah. go on a quick break now. When we return, we go into another topic that will be juicy. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So a very disturbing video of a man who proposed marriage to a girl who refused the proposal surfaced online. The lady in question refused the proposal and the guy went violent. He forcefully removed her wig, mm. then went ahead to slap her, mm. saying boldly and loudly in his words, how she go tell me no. Now, what are your thoughts on this? This is a serious one. So his question was, how can you tell me no? How can you tell me no? And I remember that Badia song. <laughs> now my oh, yes, <laughs> exactly. no. now my right to ask. Now your right whether you go agree. Mm -hmm. And she has said no, and then it went violent. There's no justification at all. But some people online have been saying that um, maybe he bought the wig, maybe he paid for a school fees, Regardless. maybe <laughs> there've been many cases that maybe he sponsored. <laughs> she said now. Did she put hand in his pocket? You love, you spend money. That's it. See, that investment, they need to get returns. It's, yes, it's true. <laughs> if you want, if she want to love you, she love you, she not love you. It, she that's not a, you. an investment you get returns for. It's yeah. not like your daughter you're sending to school saying she's come and feed you in your old age. I don't understand. She don't want to marry. And I'm sure she must have spotted this exactly. behavior. And she, wise girl just thinks, whoa, bros, you be weak by her, you not be husband. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh, Praise, what's I, your op what, what, what was your first reaction when you saw the video? First of all, there is no excuse for verbal abuse, and I, I, I'm, I'm like, that's the more reason why she should just say no. Yeah, I mean, how? It must have been slapping out, tapping her here and she there, and then, girl. you know, you're not, you're not coming to the public space where you know that obviously she might want to save you face and say mm. yes. The girl is a sharp girl, as far as I'm concerned. It's oh, a big no. To, wanted to embarrass her into <laughs> a yes, Abby. Yes, wanted to force her into a yes in public space. Mm. Why don't you do it in the corner of your house where you know that she would say no? Hmm. So you went into an open space, so she would say yes, and then, nah, ain't gonna work. Hmm. I, have, I want to throw in something, but let me first get your opinion based on your reaction to the video. When you saw the video, what was your reaction? Okay. The guy is an absolute fraud of existence. Hmm. And what do I mean by that? <laughs> I want um, to know. <laughs> what's it called? There's probably been signals or indications mm. that the guy is violent. This is not the first so time. So imagine yeah. if the guy could do this publicly. Because let me say something to you. Sometimes when people write all sorts of things on social media, because you've not been there before, mm. talk about, I have been abused physically, verbally, mentally, spiritually. Do you understand? Because at the end of the day, this kind of men should be told that every woman that he approaches, she they runs. must not have anything to do with such a man. Because the, man, the woman has every right do you understand? To say no to whatever mm -hmm. proposal. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, there are times that maybe the woman is just having fun. Do you understand? And the men, they live on assumptions. Mm. It, before you can propose to such a woman in public, you must have been having some conversation yeah. where you will know that if, if I propose to this person, her answer will be yes. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So in a place where you see things like this, 
publicly done, and you see some people saying that because the guy bought the wig, for goodness sake, if they are still dating in court, this is boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm. Then if you're not married, call. I saw something do? on, uh, on uh, Daddy Free's um, Instagram yesterday when he was saying that parents should start embracing their, their daughters back home. That mm. it's better for you to have a living mm. daughter than True. a daughter who is in marriage that will not end up being dead. Being dead. Do yeah. you understand? Mm. Things like this, at the end of the day, we need to, you losing one person or the other. Because let me say something to you. If the man should eat the woman today and she's not raising her hand or she's not talking back at you, there will be a day that she will be frustrated. Mm -hmm. That she will create, she will raise something and she will eat the man. Yes, but people yeah. will tag her as being, oh, aggressive. She's yeah. aggressive yeah. Or she's talk a about the dangers of a domestic violent marriage. Ah. Somebody will die. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. And it can be either ways because yes. we usually assume that as long as it's uh, the woman that is the, the oppressed one, so she should mm. just remain there. One day she might find her strength, and the wrong thing would be what she would use. Yes, yes. we had the Korodu case yes. of that woman, it's very painful, who, who never meant to, she just wanted to scare to the defend man. herself and say, Okay, leave me alone. Leave, and he fell on that knife, and she's facing the mother trial. Yes. See, yes, and yes. the family, all of them, mm. all of them said, Even the neighbor said, This woman had been abused all from the day they knew her. Can you imagine? Nobody yeah, told her to walk out. Up. Michael calling us from Makodi. Welcome to the show. Good morning. You, good morning. <coughs> Please don't listen to the TV. Listen to me. Mute your TV. I'm, I'm sorry. We can't take that. If you call, just don't listen to the TV. Just listen to my voice. You, you see, um, there is no justification for this at all. And it just brings to your awareness that what is this thing with public proposals? Hmm. Yes. Why does the entire world need to know when you're proposing to your... Like, why? why? Why publicize your proposal to the entire world? What are you trying to achieve? I think it's the, you know, influence of Western culture. You know, we see it in movies. It looks all so nice and we want a fairy tale proposal and all mm -hmm. what's not. But my, my own question is, just going back to the, to the video, did you guys even discuss marriage? Because yeah. uh, the signs will be there. You, you, both of you are talking about kids. You probably even started naming them and all what's not. Mm -hmm. You've talked about moving in together, where you want to live and all yeah, that. If you've not had... Yourself that conversation why would you even think of proposing to the person when because you will get the vibe you will feel it unless it's not, it doesn't I happen mean, that they, like that they anymore they assume hence the reason why they always have a disaster in their proposal in their public uh, proposal and i think that it's high time we women I'm, I'm using this platform to just say this we women stand up for one another because it's very rare it's very hard for some women to come out and say that you know what i'm going to such challenges mm. now if you see some someone going through something like this publicly this imagine is what was going on in the private be happening behind closed doors because you said mm. you're, you're saying from what the indication of the video said that the girl said no how can you, how say, can no? you say no to me it's, 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 it's a choice I, I it's a choice that you will say no it's a choice to say you will say yes so for you to raise your hand and eat right. the woman mm -hmm. i don't that's know the kind dealing of with rejection dealing with rejection is another angle yeah. Yeah. let me take this call from yakub first before we take your comments yakub welcome to the show good morning good morning good morning good morning yeah, uh, this is uh, the, the lady in question, I really give photos to that lady, and then I applaud the lady, and then she did the best thing ever that a, a, a upright lady could have done in that kind of situation. You see, so we, we are in a country that uh, lawlessness is, uh, is the other of the day. Mm. Why? Because, Absolutely. look at that video. How, how could I imagine somebody like me does that? Does exactly. it mean that that is only lady in the what? Exactly. You are not asking mm -hmm. the question. You are asking the lady. Why? Why must you say no? And let the lady have right to know. And yes, why? Why did you propose to the lady in the public? And then before you even do that, <laughs> you can have a private no. chat with the lady. Yes. Like, about, even though you have a private chat with the lady, and then you come to what, the public, yeah, the lady they rejected you in the public. Yeah, cool. Yes. And then you not beat the lady. And then the police are watching this kind of the video. And then they cannot figure out this kind of the man. Man, Yakub. Well, yeah. Yakub, public, yes. uh, public proposals are strange to our culture. Hmm. Maybe if she, he had just walked to her family, you know, she would have taken him seriously. Because See, it, it, I would personally, not necessarily because of this, hmm. turn down a public I told my husband, don't propose to me, see my family. So. I, I'm sure some women will be like that. But, you know, we also live in a very cultural place where a woman would already be calling a boyfriend or coming, giving mm. him the title of Oko, giving him the duties of Oko, and then he does a public She's doing the you work of Aya. No. 
<laughs> but then again, I think it's, it's a millennial thing, actually. The whole proposal thing, because back in the day, they don't do they it. Don't do it but so it's now because everybody, you know, just wants to go know, with the and culture. And because we must not get tired of talking about domestic mm -hmm. violence. Yeah. If your girl, if your boyfriend is squeezing you, and, I, and I've said it, I've dated someone who was holding my hand in a firm grip. It was enough signal for me. Mm. If you are in that kind of relationship, don't use shame you I. Might be strength, oh. Don't use shame so I to say too. yes to marriage or mm. use public pressure to say yes, yes to a marriage that might end up leading to violence. Mm. And if you are in a violent relationship, please find the nearest exit. Stay with us, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with another juicy topic. No, Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Yes, today is our GST Thursday. We have many hot topics. There's another juicy one that caught our attention. When a particular Twitter user tweeted that she's happily married to her ex-boyfriend's best friend, she went ahead to explain that she was generally sitting on her own when her ex-friend um, sent her a text message saying that, how is my friend treating you? And she replied, he has not texted me today. He has not called me today. He's not doing a good job. And he replied, I can do better. Brothers and sisters, they are celebrating their third year anniversary as we speak. So there's this unspoken rule that you don't date your ex's friends, you don't date in the family, but this one, they've divided, they've broken the rule and they are happily married. Where do you stand? Praise. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I belong to that school of thought where we abide by that unspoken rule. But then again, you know, they say never say never that, you know, love happens in different places. Wherever you find it, you... I... It's quite dicey because, again, why would my boyfriend's ex text me and then say, I can't do better? What sort of... Your boyfriend's friend. You know, friend. That's a nice way of posting. You. you have reached jail. Yes. So... Your, yeah, me and you, we are dating. Yes. Kike now, now ask me yes. whether you are doing well. Well, uh, what's Kike, it? you are pricing the market. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And is it, they say, when another man... Okay, that's because Islam. I... See, Islamically, when a proposal has been made to a girl, you okay. has to settle. So she has to say no clearly yeah. before another person who is aware of that proposal comes in. So this friend has breached the major rule. Yes. Akama is slow. Yes. They are doing three years. You know that Akama is, is crawling. Yes, sir. True. You it's, will catch them. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah, you but, agree with that? Yeah, I, agree. The, uh, I, I agree with that. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel that a lot of times you see someone, you, okay, let's say that genuinely mm -hmm. two friends meet a girl. Yeah. One was forced to toast. And the other one has been seeing the girl. Knowing that my friend is not doing a good job, I asked. He was polite. How is my friend yes. treating so you? If she said you are doing a good job, probably the guy won't say anything. But even the guy that was dating, when you don't take care of your so egg well, somebody has to come so and carry it from you. Obviously, the that friend that is waiting for something to go wrong. Yes, in that yes. That's why and I believe you. that, you know, it's easier for us to look at it from the angle that because the girl is not being treated well. So by being, if it's a woman that is doing it now, do you understand? Mm. They will tag the woman as, you know, she's yeah. doing yeah. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Understand? It mm -hmm. is absolutely wrong. You do not break that code of. Why well, not anything single? The, Some people say that, that you are still when you are still single, the fact you, are you are still in that relationship until you put a ring on no. it. There, there is a typical example. There is a typical example. Mm -hmm. of, they had a friend way back in school who actually really liked me, but I never knew. And then I met another girl through him, and I liked the girl. Somehow I found out that they were dating and everything. I was like, oh, my friend has a girlfriend now. I give him space. Then I think a, a year later or two, he came back and was, I was like, oh, hold up. I thought you were dating this person. What happened? It didn't work out. So you don't want to come back to me. And then she would think that I was the reason because she knew how close I was. Like, no way, bro. It won't happen. Like, but everybody knows. Maybe you would have been married for the past five years. Yes, happily yes. married. <laughs> we have a phone call. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what, are you talking about this topic or the previous ones? Anyone? Me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to speak about the guy that is uh, proposing by force to about a relationship to that girl. Also, no. Yeah, are you hearing me? Yes, yeah. I am. Yes, I am. Go ahead, please. Yes, because that uh, guy that is proposing to that girl by force by fire, and then she go and check that guy's brain. Hmm. Do you understand me? Mm. They should go and look that should guy. Should it be prosecuted? I don't think that guy is okay at all. He should. He should. He should. He should. I don't he see the kind of relationship 
somebody will be using force to tell a woman that you should marry me by force by fire. It's not done. What of it is, is investment now? And then what me I thought they should do for that, let's admit they are schooling in that place. They need to get that guy arrested. Mm. So that because, because that guy can create another problem for that, he can even set people to kill that girl. Mm. That's why people die anyhow. Mm. You will not know the cause yeah. of the death of the girl. Yeah. Very true. Very so very that true. guy should be very, very careful. I and mean, that guy needs to stay far away from that guy. Mm. That guy is the devil. Though. Thank so you, Shegun. That's a very good point. So back to this um, juicy one. And, and it's very juicy for me because I realize that we box ourselves in this society. Sometimes God will take away the wrong so that you will see the right. Mm. And in some situations, that wrong person may be positioned right beside the right. Yeah, you, all of you are looking at me like I'm the devil's <laughs> I'm, I'm just asking. So talk about if, he, if as they were dating, yes. he secretly remained in. I know a family, that, my, this is their 12 year anniversary. And my uncle used to say that he'd been in love with my auntie nine years <coughs> because she knew she was in a relationship, he stayed away. Oh, he didn't know they had broken off until after she broke off two yeah. years after before he knew she so had broken off that relationship. That move. You so, have issue that it happened during the exactly, relationship. Exactly. So you yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let me let me let me, let me yes. let me get it clear. Let me get it clear. So mm. there is no problem with you dating or ending up marrying a friend no of your ex. All. No problem yeah. But it shouldn't happen concurrently when you are in a relationship. Exactly. So that's the cheating. Well, I agree yes. with you yes. there. Well, I agree with you there. Well, but okay, so if we now you want to say something. Yeah, I said, aside that, right, mm. it also depends on the relationship of those two men. Mm. If they are best friends... Don't separate them. Yeah. I don't, because you're... Even when you love the... Uh -uh. If, if they are best friends, and you know that they are inseparable, these people have been coming a long way, Wait. do you understand? Yeah. You, uh, what's it called, ending one relationship with another one and jumping on the other one would definitely put a strain on their relationship. True. But you have to so think of yourself. Trip, no, 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 what mm -hmm. kind of... That's a See, selfish that's, mentality. That's part of the reason we're having asking. challenges today. Do you understand? Because people are only thinking about themselves. Mm. The, the time we start thinking about ourselves, our neighbours and all of that, do you understand? It will help us to have a better society today, especially when it comes you. to the youth and women or marriages today. Mm. So, what I'm saying here, Tokwa, is that So, you sacrifice have... your love, your happiness. You know that this guy will make oh, you happy. Sure sure but you say, I'm, I'm you just sure asking. Love in the first place? Know, uh -uh. I'm Tokwa, asking. This, this will take me to another thing. You know, you find out that most people will say that, oh, this person is my soulmate, this mm. person is my best friend, Mm. This way, if your love have not been tested and trusted for at least mm. 30 to 40 years in that union, there's no reason why you say somebody is your soulmate. That's number one. Okay. Number two, the question, question is, the question is, <laughs> why you think that Tokwa is my best friend? Mm. God forbid, let me not use him. And if your, that your best friend passes on, you would think that you can never have another best friend, but that's a lie. You can have another best friend because you can even have something better than that. That's, that's supporting my points, but I'll take this phone call first. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Good morning. <laughs> Oh gosh, laugh. we lost the call. I'm so sorry. So it, the, the thing is, we tend to feel like um, there's one person I love forever. Please get your tweets ready. There's one person I'll love forever. But what if, what if for any reason, you find that if you had met this friend first, it would have been the right person for you. And maybe the person you met was the wrong one. Mm -hmm. And that relationship has made it obvious to you that this guy is not the one for me. And then you just see someone else showing you attention. We tend to just block everything because we feel ah, unspoken rule and you're blocking out your lorry. I mean, quote and unquote, someone <laughs> that will favor you. <laughs> if you have values as a girl, yeah. bless, what you do is mm. step out of that relationship clearly. Mm -hmm. Even if that guy makes a proposal to you, break off from your relationship, give it time. Let it die down naturally so that there's no room for suspicion. I agree with no that. create yeah. bad blood. I agree with and that. then if you want to move on with his best friend, if he works with him, yeah. then let him settle down. Let's take a few tweets. You haven't taken any so tweets have, today. Uh, across topics, so I'm going to take them. Billy Kiss Mafia Fagbemi says, to begin with, love is relative. Maturity may not come from so, for some women before marriage. That may affect their objectivity on marriage. Love may come later and it may not be the reason that they got married in the first instance. That's different from fantasy. Mm. Ibrahim says, I believe either party should be able to agree to do what's right for their family within the context of their own common and conceptual paradigm of marriage. Um, King of Civil Engineering says, my wife has been home since three years. Now with, uh, since three years now with pregnancies and babies, she's sacrificing her career for the family while I go into the bush to look for Gary for the family. <laughs> with time, she will start pursuing her career. I love her. Okwayemi Yek says, marriage is a lifetime union and a learning institution with no convocation. Hence, every man and woman should be ready to sacrifice their personal time 
treasure, talent, and talent to build the home. I love the participation of soft learner. <laughs> We'll take him. There are lots of tweets. There are many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lots Should of I go tweets. on? Yes, please. Okay. Um, okay I just, Why are you uh, looking for that? I want to ask you a question because people are loving you on Twitter. Everybody is saying they love your perspective. They love your perspective. <laughs> um, and I understand that being single, you it, it, it puts you in a position where everybody is looking at you and wondering what are you going to do. Do you feel under pressure by any like the societal pressure to? get married, are they mm. asking you, so where's the guy and all of that? Do you feel that pressure? No, I don't. Nobody's Honestly. asking you. No, not that. They're asking, <clears throat> but you're not being pressured. Mm. I am, funny, funny thing is, luckily for me, I have a very small stature, so it's easy for you to confuse my age, and you could be like, okay, she's, she's still in school, she's this, she's that, but I personally am the sort of person that I'm not being pressured at home, Mm. Though once in a while they talk about it, but it's like we, I, I do not come from that circle where they would begin to say, okay, this is this, this must happen at this time, or that they allow you to go through the process. And then again, I ask myself because I look around me and I have seen a lot of failed marriages, quote and unquote. And again, the recent trend, it's like, you know, there's an attack on marriages and family going mm. on. So I feel like it's something that one should be careful, careful about and one should take it into proper consideration. If you want to go into it, what kind of person are you? Just like she said, you should have standards and values as a person. So do I want to go, it, go into it and then come out after? Or I want to go into it fully and know that, okay, it's a, sure. a long-life commitment and I'm not mm. coming out. So what are the things I want to do? And those are the things that I am basically checking out as a person. That's for me. Mm. If people yeah, want to go in and yeah. you know, that's I think somebody is watching. I hope people are watching. <laughs> very so, rare. And this mind yeah. is rich. Let's take okay, a few okay, tweets. So before you, before you girls fly off the handle, ever bother to check the authenticity of the video? Mm -hmm. Why not talk about it, Nima? Um, a public proposal is not an African thing. I could see Kike Lomo a little distressed. <laughs> I say to Kike, I could understand your pain, but we thank God for your progressing and moving ahead. Mm -hmm. um, um, A.E. said, a former proposal is a foreign import, but we just we just have to stop doing bows, don't <laughs> we? A public proposal is just an extension of the fads. Mm. It's much better to discuss marriage than the drama called a proposal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, God bless you. Know, it, it's been a loaded show. Thank you, ladies. Mm -hmm. You guys did a good job. Um, I, I want <coughs> to let everybody know that we've, uh, we've, we've spoken extensively about relationships and marriage, and one thing rings through it all is communication mm -hmm. and a lot of maturity in every male and female. I think we could all work together and have success because the family unit is important. Yeah. That's why we keep bringing it back on the show because we know that if we can get it right in the family, we will get it right in our society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching today. If you'd like to be part of our live audience on Wednesdays, which is when we do our live audience show, please send your name, your phone number and picture to your view at tvccommunications.tv. You know, we want to have your database so we can get in touch with you. That's all we can take today. See you all tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye.